Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you very much. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you need uh, consulting for voice over IP networking or security, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you somebody uh, who can. That is our promise to you. Now, what we're going to talk about tonight is multiple modes for Grandstream UCM inbound routes. So what that means, you've seen us set up inbound routes. And when we set up a route, we normally have one mode. And what that mode does or what a mode is, is it describes how the call will be handled when it comes in on the trunk. Let's say that you have a receptionist who handles your phones. So your normal inbound route is to ring to the receptionist. Let's say the receptionist has to step away. So instead of the phone just ringing and ringing and ringing, you can set up a mode shift button on a phone and have it switch to mode one. And then what'll happen, you can hit that button on the phone and it'll switch. So you could have it go directly to a voicemail. You could have it go to an IVR. You could do all kinds of things. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. And then I'm going to show you how to set up the buttons on the phone. So let's get to it. All right, so here we've got our UCM 6202. This is my live system. So what we're going to do is we're going to log in. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to extensions and trunks, and we're going to go to inbound routes. And we've got our inbound route from our SIP.US trunk, which uh, I'm experimenting with some other SIP providers, as you know, so be prepared to see some of that uh, in the future. Right now you can see that my inbound route, which is the only inbound route that I have for this trunk, it has a default mode and it goes to IVR and the IVR is called H5. So if I edit this trunk, what I can do is I can come in here, or if I edit the inbound uh, route, I can come in here and I can select inbound multiple mode. Now you see mode one becomes available. So when you call in, by default, you get an IVR, and it goes to this IVR. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to mode one. We're going to do default destination. So what is the default destination when a call comes in when this is in mode one? And we're going to take it to voicemail, and we're going to go to Willie House. We're going to click Save there. Now we're going to come up here back on our inbound route screen, and we're going to go to Set Global Inbound Mode. We're going to enable... Uh, inbound multiple and the uh, inbound mode is going to be default. So we want our IVR to be that, that default mode. So if we want to go to default mode, the feature code is star 61 or asterisk 61. The feature uh, code for inbound mode one is star asterisk 62. So we're going to go ahead and click save on that. And then we're going to click apply changes. So now everything is done in the UCM. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to move the camera around. We're going to uh, get eyes on uh, this grand stream phone that is over here. And I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, line on this phone. All right, so we have the web console of our GXP2170 up. And I'm going to bring it up here so you can see, um, you know, up here, I've got my name. The time is down here. I've kind of changed things around, so uh, it's a little easier for you to see it. So what we're going to do is over here on the right-hand side, we're going to put a couple of buttons. And one's going to say uh, away, and one is going to say uh, in. So we're going to log in to the, the phone and we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to our virtual multi-purpose keys. Now on this GXP uh, 2170, we're going to start with number seven because that's going to get us on the right hand side of the phone. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to hit edit VPK and mode will be speed dial account number one. This is going to be away and 
the value for this is going to be that star. What did we say it was? It was so away with star 62. So we'll save that. And then we'll come down here and we'll do a speed dial and we'll do same account. And this is going to be in and this is going to be star 61. We'll save that and we'll save the keys. And now what you'll see is we have an away and an in button. And if I hit away, the phone is going to do that speed dial and it's going to switch the mode on the UCM. Inbound route set to mode one. So it just said inbound route set to mode one. That was away. Now I'm going to hit in. Inbound route set to default mode. And now the inbound route is set to the default mode, which is going to go to that IVR. So that's it. It really is that simple. And you will see that configuration. Uh, you will see it often times in uh, businesses that have front desk staff, um, health clubs, things like that, where staff doesn't arrive, you know, to a certain time. And then they want to switch that mode so that maybe calls all ring there. So there's a lot of different uses for that. And I think it's pretty useful. And I really uh, like putting the shortcut keys on the handset so you don't have to dial that. You just have them there on the display. They can hit in, they can hit away, and you are good to go. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Like I said, if you need IT consulting for voice over IP networking or security, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. If you'd like to buy any of the gear you see or use any of the services that you see us use here on the channel, you're under no obligation to use the affiliate links, but there are affiliate links down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks on over to the channel to keep some of this gear rolling in. And once again, I want to thank you all for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.